uh, this is our 14th event here at uh, for Poetry for Personal Power. And last year, it was our, it was our uh, second ever event. And so what happened was, I'm now a member of what's called the New Economy. And it turns out that 25% of the people employed in the United States are employed as freelancers. So this is people like me that are out there making their own job. And I'm doing this with internet message promoting, by grant writing, by building my own business, by going out and contacting customers, by doing what's now called guerrilla marketing or permission-based marketing, where if my product is good, then you can read my blog, check out the YouTube channel, et cetera. And I'm not lasting people with commercials like the old traditional marketing tactics. So the, one of the key messages I want to give you tonight is if you want a job, you can make your own job. And the contrary to that is if you don't do it, <laughs> you may not have a job. So I've got flyers back there for KC SourceLink, which is the number one small business connection source in Kansas City. So check out their site, their brochure, and their events. And so one way I've made my own job in the last two years since I've become self-employed is by connecting with lots of different people. So I was out at a library, Kansas City, Missouri Public Library event, and I met Dr. Bradgood. And then I contacted her and said, well, would you be interested in helping me write this big time federal grant to bring poetry into universities in Missouri and have featured poets? And we've got a, a person named Natasha who's gonna be our feature at the end of this event. And so she co-sponsored the event the first year and we got a, a grant to do a lot of these events. We had 542 students participate in our 10 events last year. We're doing 15 events this year. We've had 86 people at Rock, Rockbridge High School in Columbia two months ago. We had some people, we've had uh, two other events already last November uh, at Penn Valley Community College and up in Maryville, Missouri. So we're gonna have two more events in Kansas City. So if you like this event and you wanna compete again, you can check out our UMKC event on March 16th and our Avila University event on March 20th. And then check our website, Facebook and Twitter for all those events. So the main message of, of our event is what do you do to get through tough times? What helps you through adversity? And the reason we promote this event is we're funded by SAMHSA, the Federal Substance Abuse and Mental Health Service Administration, and it is a partnership with, of course, uh, the Scribe. They're one of our partners, and the English and Modern Language Department here at this university. And I'm with Heartland Consumer Network. That's an organization of people who are in recovery from mental illness. And I'm a person who's recovered from 12 psychiatric diagnoses and seven hospitalizations and six suicide attempts and um, 29 medications, up to six of them all at one time. And I've completely exited that system now. And I no longer take any medications. And I've come up with a theory to describe this process that many times we're given the message that if you're suffering emotionally, it's a disease. And what I've come up with to say is, well, if you're suffering emotionally, it's from distress. And the difference between the disease model and the distress model is that the distress model says that if you have mental health struggles or symptoms or challenges, it's because a lot of times really bad junk has happened in your life. And so that leads to a ready solution. You can either get rid of the bad junk or find ways to self-support yourself, like how do you get through adversity? Find those things. How do you get through tough times? So if you find those things, that's the way out of that difficulty. Whereas the disease model says, if you're suffering emotionally, it probably came out of the blue from a physical cause. And the solution to that is a different solution. Although finding how you get through adversity, that's also helpful for that model. So that's why we're talking about how to get through adversity because it's helpful no matter how you look at the source or solutions. So 
as a person who has experienced pretty much everything the mental health system has to offer and has moved on and built a business that was a finalist for Google's Gigabit Business Challenge for $350,000 two months ago. I was a semi-finalist for that business plan competition. I was a semi-finalist for $40,000 from the Foundation for Excellence in Mental Health Care. I was a finalist for $12,000 from the U.S. Olympic Committee. So that's my success in the last year with my business and seeking that very initial partnership with Dr. Brackett. I'm gonna start off with the poem. So you guys get a choice. You want a poem about how great Kansas City is? Or you want a poem about what people tell what people tell me for riding a bicycle in the city? Are the face of this transformation. 